We've been in this haunted school for a few hours now. What's the name of it again? I think Sell Creek School. That sounds about right. We've lost Maya and we don't know where she is. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> Maya, where have you been? I got lost. Did you hear that? What was that? Oh my gosh, what is that? Edition. Hey, hey guys. guys, it's Abby, Jaden, and Shelby. And later we're going to be joined by a couple of our friends to do a spooky investigation. We're going live at Shipley Hollow, which is otherwise known as Kitty Cat Hollow. We're going to be telling you all the history so you can be ready for this spooky season. Let's go. Hi Panther Boos. We're here on site today at the Shipley Hollow Cemetery investigating and discovering <laughs> the elusive and macabre history of the Kitty Cat. I'm Mia. I'm Jaden. I'm Abby. I'm Anna. And I'm Hope. Jaden, why don't you take it away for us? In 1775, a mother and her four children were traveling down Shipley Hollow Road to be able to get the horse and buggy. And that suffered the beast was out of the woods. Yeah, the imp scared the horse so bad that it knocked the whole buggy over. And it killed the two children and the mother instantly. That's why we call it the pity pad. Because of the sound pattern. Okay, wait, hey, hey. Do you guys hear that? Shelby! 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 Shut up! Hi, guys. I actually heard it a different way. Oh, do tell. I actually heard that the mom lived long enough to live to see her children being drug away. And now she gets on a horse and tries to find her children. Well, either way, the third Sunday of every fourth month of the year, at about 12.30 a.m., is when you get the kitty cat. This has been your Panther Boos investigative team. Call us up if you ever need someone to Wait. investigate your paranormal stories. Wait. What? what? Guys, Shelby, that's not you, is it? I'm standing here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brendan. And I'm Andrew. And I'm Caleb. And this, this is, is the Nutrition News. The Nutrition News. Here's what's up. So today we're going to be talking about just, I guess, kind of what this uh, series is going to be about. And we want to introduce a new member of our crew. This is Caleb Newhouse. Uh, he is a, um, used to be overweight. Would you like to share your story? Yeah, so I used to be overweight and I took Andrew's and Brendan's Nutrition Facts and here I am today. Exactly. Thank you for your story. Uh, you too can look like this. Well, Brendan, what, what, just explain what we kind of want to do. So every episode we're going to be doing two facts that are based on nutrition and two exercise routines that you can do so that way you can help lose weight and if you follow all these advices and also just do your own research, you too can lose weight. Uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted y'all to get a feel for what we're doing and to introduce Caleb and to shout out our amazing-ish camera girl, Leah. Leah. That's this week's episode. This Stay was safe. the Nutrition News. Stay fit. My dudes. Guys, we're filming. Hello there. Hey, how's it going? Hi there, it's Sail Creek. This is your Panther News. Uh, I'm Peek and he's Beaver. That's right. And uh, the Big Brain News team is back at it again with our new segment for this week. And today we're going to be, uh, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Peek, we're going to be talking about mass genocide. That genocide, of course, being the American bee population. Be, leave it or not. Bees are vital to many different ecosystems. That's right, beaver. Bees uh, make a source of food for some animals, but really the main thing that they do is pollinate. Bees are one of the biggest sources of pollination, especially in America, but really globally. They uh, pollinate to survive, really. They gain nectars from flowers who uh, create the delicious honey that we know of. That's a good bee pun. That's a bee crate. You could say it's That's unbelievable. That's just a dirty scene out.
Yeah. Hi, I'm Colby Davis with Big Brain News, and we're going to uh, wake up Mr. Gardner from his nap to talk about some bees. Oh. Yeah, what? Okay, well, we just want to ask you a few questions about your beehives. Oh, okay. Um, well, right now they're sort of taking a nap like I was because it's getting cold and flowers are getting ready to get killed by frost, and so. Yeah. Uh, what about some of these diseases that have been going around that have been hurting the bees a lot? Have they affected your beehives? Well, the collapse disorder, which is, I think, the, that's sort of the big one. They were, had beehives that just would disappear, that just all of a sudden the bees would be gone. Um, that was a mystery for quite a while. They pretty, near, pretty much narrowed it down to being a fungus. And the fungus doesn't kill them, but it works like, works like AIDS. So like AIDS doesn't kill anyone, it's the diseases they get because their immune system. So it weakens their immune system and uh, so they die out faster. And uh, bees are only take out to this forage what they, the amount of honey they need to get out there, not to get back. And so they misjudge that and a lot of those bees just end up not getting back home. Cause of, so things like that. And, uh, but yeah, the population, I started beekeeping almost 25 years ago. And the bee population, at least I've seen general statistics, has dropped almost 50% in the United States um, during that time. And some of the pests that have always been around have been kept under control, like foul brood is one that goes way back. That one's very bad. As a matter of fact, if they find foul brood in my hives, they'll burn them, my hives will. I have to register my hives for that reason so they can check them if they feel like they need to. Uh, but they've got that one under control, sort of like measles, though because people aren't vaccinated or coming back, so some things like that. Well, thank you for talking to us today about your bees. Yeah, it was a sweet talking time talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> back to you, and, uh, back to Peek and uh, whatever. We can well, thanks for being so honest about your bees. Can back to you at the station. Can I go back to sleep now? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. Today, we're doing a scare cam, and it's going to be... Don't you have a raider comp to go to? Oh my gosh, what is he even doing? He's not those even are like big. not even, like, yeah, those are terrible jumping Hey, back off. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go tell a teacher. Whatever. Are you talking to me? Oh, <laughs> God. So glad he left our proximity. Good. I can't stand him. He's so weird. I know, raiders more like traitors. Join the Russians or something. Jeez. Yes, sir. Alright, what's going on? Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. If I say that again, we're going to have a big problem, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Jaden, Shelby, and we're gonna be doing. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? It's Hillcreek's own investigative team. Wait, paranormal investigative, paranormal investigative team. team. Oh, wait, what did I say? Oh my God! <laughs> oh. Hello, baby. Hello, honey. <laughs>